So it's a bright early morning start for Farmer Frank here. That's right, had a night's sleep, offloaded a bunch of junk, and I am ready to plant some crops. I've actually got a hell of a lot of food now, I think. So, that's water. Food. We've got, that's carrots. I'm going to plant carrots. That's corn, gourds, melons. I mean, I've got a lot of different things now, but we're going to start with whatever it was mute fruit that type in planting isn't it mute fruit but we're gonna have mute fruit over here can i build more three um okay let's see how, how closely can we plant them four five six i've got loads of these i i don't know whether it's actually commonwealth is it worth planting more? There's a, there's a certain limit. Who have I assigned to this? There's a certain limit to how much food these guys contend, I believe. Uh, I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I so... No, 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 no. Don't build anything. Command. You. I'm commanding you. See, I've now got tons of food. I've actually got eight food. But I think there's a limit. I think there's a limit. If I assign him to that, I think he does all of them, yeah? And I can do the same with grain. I think. I mean, I'm... I'm I could just be making this up. But I hope not. Right, let's... Oh, is that the last of the raised grain? Okay. Well, I can also plant... Potato trees. I've got loads of potato trees. So we've got some space here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. How about another one there? Six. And one, two, three. I, I sound like the count from Sesame Street. I mean, right, 11. Now, you see that... Okay, give me a sec. Have I assigned you to food? Food, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. It seems each person I assign can do... Is that 6? Can I assign... Where's Crazy Woman? I've assigned you. Where's Crazy Woman? I don't want to assign the engineer, because I'm guessing he's needed elsewhere. Or do I? Can I? Sturgis? Uh, no, you know what? I, I, I feel wrong. He's, he's, he's the engineer. Where is Crazy Lady? She better not be in my place. Let's check the bunkhouse. Oh, God. I mean, I I probably don't need to assign her. I just... Oh, no, I can assign... I can assign you to do some um, crop. Mind you, I was thinking of taking you with me. I was actually thinking of taking you with me into the wasteland. Yes, I was. So, all right, we got a bunch of people doing food. Where is she? I'll probably bump into her eventually. You're on guard duty, that makes sense. I don't see her. Um, right, okay, so I've planted some potatoes. I don't know, you, you don't know I seem to be doing nothing. You know this what? This place is starting to feel like home. Okay. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Yeah, we can. The trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here... Completed. Talk to... I didn't talk to Sturgis. I'm trying to command him. I'm trying to go into this menu and assign him. I didn't talk to him. Requires a person. Right. Right. Okay, there we go. Look, he's 14. He's only doing two? Is he only doing two? How, are you, how come you're only doing two? Command. 
I've commanded him. Food 14. That doesn't seem to be really, really worth it, does it? No, it doesn't. All right, well, they've got those crops doing. What other crops can I make? So I've got carrots. Let's let's make some carrots because I really would like you guys to actually tend a variety of crops. Oh, I've only got one carrot. Okay, what else have I got? I've got corn. Okay, because I need this. I think I need a variety of vegetables for different, um, well, for the adhesive. And that's why I'm assigning these guys. I want adhesive. Food, that's gourd. Okay, let's plant the gourd near the uh, carrots. Stick everything together. Probably a little... This is probably not the world's neatest farm. And by probably, I mean it, it really isn't, is it? No. Okay, but still. And we got more mute fruits. And we got potatoes. I planted loads of potatoes. So I actually think we're done with the, the planting. But he, he's... I think I was supposed to talk to him. And when I was trying to command him, it counted as talking to him. I think it counted as talking to him, and I'm supposed to make some defences. Which is... That's really slightly annoying. Sanctuary, the first step. Talk to Preston Garvey. We'll do that in a minute. Sanctuary, build defences. Could you have at least told me where... Where, where, where should I build defences? Defences. Defence guard posts. Um... I kind of feel like that should be on the bridge, but we've got a whole array of... Oh, I need to go... Oh, okay. We've got different guard posts. Ooh, that's a big one. So... The big question is, is how far can we... Can we build these guard posts? Can we, for example, build them on the other side of the bridge? It's probably not not the best idea. What we should do is we should build these guard posts kind of like here. That's what I'm thinking. Build it there so they can't get past, yeah? So we've now got a guard post. You know what, though? I'm going to clear this a little, don't I? When your defense value is too low, the chance of attacks to your settlement increases. You should try to keep your defense... Yeah, 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 we're going to, we're going to. Um, scrapping this. Let's, let's, let's just clear. Do I want to scrap that? I don't think I want to scrap that yet. Right. Um, just clearing this area a tiny bit. Signpost will leave... Trash can. Yeah. Because I was thinking two guard posts. Can I put turrets up on a guard post? That would be really cool. So we'll get matching guard posts either side. Like so. I'm wondering whether that was a clever idea because of the sign. Is it is it sort of blocking it a little? Maybe a little. Maybe I should push it forward a tad. I think so. I think we'll push it forward a tad. Hello? Push forward a tad. Let's see if that... Oh, God. Yeah, that's... That's still pretty... Yeah, they... You can't get through there. I'm going to move it across ever so slightly. I like to feel that my base is hermetically sealed. <laughs> 
Right, let's have a look at this. This is going to be the corner bit right. I think. Because, of course, we definitely need this to be symmetrical. Why won't you let me select that? Now? Select it! Okay. It, it lets me select it occasionally. Okay, now I've got more control, okay. Is that about the same distance forward? It's a little forward of that crack. That's a little forward of that crack. It's it's close. I think it's close. Okay, so we've now got two guard outposts overlooking the bridge. Which is nice. What else can we do? We can also do low guard posts. What's this? Traps! <sighs> Ooh. Right, now these things need power. These things actually need power. Uh, do I have stores? Stores? Tra I need to make a trader in town. Oh, I so do. Crafting? I need to make crafting benches, probably. Power! Power generators! I could make... No, what's this? Connectors and switches? Lights? Power miscellaneous? The problem here is, I don't honestly know what the hell I'm bloody making. All I've got is build defences for the sanctuary. These don't count, apparently. That doesn't count as a, as, as a defence. And for all I know, he said something along the lines of, Oh, and make sure it's at the back, because that's where we're going to get attacked. But honestly, I, I feel like the bridge needs to be defended. It just... it. I'm going to build walls, I think, everywhere, and put, like, these things up so we can defend against them, but... Maybe it's... Maybe I just need to build a turret. For, okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Let's build a turret... And then power it. Mm. That's why I'm thinking. Defenses, guard posts, turrets. What have we got? We've got the machine gun turret. Heavy machine gun turret, which requires rank one of gun nut. I've got that. The laser turret. Okay. So I, I just, I want to build a heavy machine gun turret. Oh, yeah. Can I build it up here? Can I build it up? No, I can't. Okay. So what I should do is build them down here. Yeah, I should build it down here and then power it. Or should I build it at the side so that... Okay, I can put it there. I put it there. And I'm going to have to figure a way of... Okay. Build. <laughs> Defense. Eight. Oh, does it not need power? It doesn't need power. It does not need... Power. That's kind of awesome. What does this need? Circuitry? Gears? Oil? I'm going to need a lot of circuitry. I probably should not randomly build it, be building these things then. I don't know how much I'm going to need yet. That's defense turrets, guard posts. Traps need power. Okay, have I, have I built enough defenses now? Defense 8. Sanctuary. Talk to Sturgis. So we've now got a couple of defense posts where people can stand guarding. We don't have a gate. Can I build gates? Oh, God, I'm doing it again. Doing it again. Doing it again. Doing it again. Stop it. Can I build gates? That would be very cool. Let's have a look. It's going to come under structures, right? Decorations. Structures. Structures. Wood. Structures metal, structures door. Let's say structures... Mm, no, those are roofs. Roofs. Fences. Junk fence. Wire fence. Wire fence sounds better, but the junk fence is probably cheaper. Structures doors. Doors, 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 doors. No gates. No gates then. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. No walls. Miscel miscellaneous. Wood structures, miscellaneous, uh, railings, more railings, lots of railings, all the railings. Stairs could be useful. Metal. Roofs, walls, prefabs. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, well, anyway, I've, I've got 
some defences up. We've got some defences up. We've got a machine gun and a couple of uh, places to stand and shoot people as they come across the bridge. We really should probably build a wall around the entire place and put some other machine guns. The question is, is does it require manning? Should I man the turret? You're on food duty. You are on food duty. Stop. Whatever it is you're doing. And go... Food 18. Oh, it, it, it does Oh, right, okay. So it doesn't matter that she's hammering away there. All that matters is she is assigned. Okay. Sturgis. Sturgis. Oh, we've already got fruit. Thanks for doing that. Well, I'll sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. Yes! It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Um, what's next? This will never be home? No, what's next? What's next? Come on, dude. What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Okay. So that's... Tater plant harvest. Seems to be growing well. Nice. The only problem I'm having now is... No, it's... These are... Carrots as well. Gourds. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat, though. Preston may want to chat. Yeah, yeah. It's probably, probably some something very, very important. Um, I'm going to see how much of this bloody adhesive I can make. Because we need adhesive for weapons and armor and stuff. Welcome to Nowheresville. Population, this sorry group. This is not Nowheresville, this is our home. I have got big plans for this. I am going to knock down everything. And then I'm going to rebuild it in a very cool and outstandingly impressive manner. Yes, I am. And we're gonna, I'm going to focus on defences to start with. I think I'm going to start with a wall around the entire bloody place, I think. Although that, that could well be enormous. I mean, that, that's going to require a lot of building. Yes, it is. However, uh, first things first, adhesive. The thing I am missing, the thing that is limiting me on everything other than building. Let's see. Beverages. Utility. Vegetable starch. I need purified water. I've got some of. Now... Can I get purified water? I need to try those other water things. Yes, I do. Okay, let's for... I can only make one of these. Damn it. Because of corn. Make... I need more corn. Corn is what I need to plant. I need lots of corn. Lots of mutt fruit. Lots of potatoes. I've got loads of potato plants. Okay. Maybe I should destroy a few of the potato plants. So that they work on the corn. Maybe I've planted too many. That is distinctly possible, isn't it? Until we get more settlers, maybe I need to make sure they're tending the plants. Oh, mind you, maybe what I should do is just plant more bloody corn. Since I've just harvested some. I'm probably going to do... Uh, I'm probably going to move all of this eventually. Gourds. It's potato. Right, carrots. Are the carrots growing as well? Yeah, let's just grow some more corn. I don't know. They, they seem to be doing everything. I need to get the mutt fruit as well. Yes. Okay. And resources, food. No, that's water. Food. Um, carrots. Build one more carrot. Yeah, what, let's build another carrot near over here. God knows why. Right. Uh, corn. Oops. What? Do I just... Are they just different visually? Is that what these things are? 
One. Two. Okay, so that's all the corn. Gourds. Let's build another gourd. And we got loads of muck fruit. Do I need them? Razor grain, razor grain. Let's let's build a smaller razor grain. I, I just maybe that's do they produce less? Produces 0.5. No, it produces the same, so why? Is it just for visual difference? Is it just for the the visuals? It could be, I suppose. Okay, we have now got a lot of stuff for planting. I am gonna move it because it it's hideously, um, well, disorganized. And it seems to be growing well. Yes, it does. It's a shame it doesn't auto harvest and go into my. Uh, that would be nice. To go into my inventory. Let's just dump this junk. Um. Yeah, there wasn't much. Right, so it comes under aid, and it is... Oh, I need to cook as well. I should get that cooking done. Potatoes, Lots of. Okay, so I've moved the campfire there. It's just a little easier, a little more convenient. But I'm, I'm trying to give some thought to how I'm going to set this place up. And right now, it's pretty big. I'm wondering if I can make it smaller for the near future. Or at least, I don't know. Is that a good idea? I've noticed Garvey is patrolling the entire area. And my defenses are all the way down here. Mind you, if I want water, I'm going to want the, um, the water purifier to be here, aren't I? Which is going to require... Could they be attacking us here? Let's, let's see if I can build a water purifier. Okay, what was... Right, so I'm, I'm kind of at the edge of what we can do. Water resources, water purifier. Water purifier industrial requires two power, requires... Right. I can't build one because I don't have the power. But I can do this. This produces 10. This produces 40. Okay, scrap fret. Okay, let's just scrap everything that we... Can scrap at the edge. I don't want to scrap all the trees. Okay, so... We can't build this because we lack power. But well, what happens if we build something for power? Defense, power, 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 generator. Um, this produces three power. This produces five. This produces ten. D right. Whoa. That produces a only th that only produces three. Let's have a look. This uses copper and ceramic. Build with steel. We can we can make these. We can make these. But it's whether we even need to. It's whether we even need to. I mean, we're going to need five. Generator large. Oh, we need science one for this. But we don't for this. We, but this, this unfortunately... What's the advantage of a, of a, of a windmill? I, I, I'm, apart from, you know, saving the environment, and it's a little on the late side for that, what is the advantage of that? Doesn't blow up? See, at the moment, then, I, I think I need to... Right. But I don't want to build a generator that can be destroyed easily. Surely I need to put this... out of sight? And then put some wires up? I don't know. I don't actually know. Well, what happens if I put this here? Okay. We got a gen we've now got a generator. You've built a power source. Connect objects to it that require power. Will do. Uh, I'm going to leave that there at the moment. Provide a bit of cover for it. Oh, it's noisy as hell. The wind one might not be as... Right. Let's worry about that another day. Connectors and switches. Lights. Miscellaneous. 
Um, defense, resources, water. Okay. Purify industrial requires a five. Oh, it also requires science rank one. That's why I can't build that. Okay. That's why I can't build that. Right, so I can put this here. Like that. Okay. But it requires power. Correct. So. Why won't it let me? It's not letting me change that. Why won't you let me change that? Thank you. So, power, I'm going to need... Power mis it's probably miscellaneous. Connectors and switches. What is miscellaneous? Recruitment beacon! Oh, we can recruit new settlers? That could be interesting. Terminal. Light box. And a powered speaker. Um, yeah, let's not, let's, not, let's not annoy absolutely everybody. Connectors, lights, and switches. This is a power pylon. This is a power pylon large. Okay, no, that's not. Power conduit. Switch. Switched power. I don't I don't really want to switch. I want it on all the time, don't I? Delayed on-off switch. What the hell? Okay, tell you what, let's just go for a standard bog basic large pylon because that's what i'm going to need isn't it to, 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 to stretch power i'm going to need something like let's have a look copper ceramic ceramic i don't have a huge amount of run a wire from the generator i'm going to how do i run wires connectors where's the wire option generators Oh, attach wire. Ah, right. Okay, okay. Attach wire. I've attached a wire. Attach wire. No. Is it the trees in the way? Is it the trees in the way? It's probably the tree that's in the way, isn't it? I've sort of. I, I don't want to move the trees yet. Okay. It's attach the wire. And I can do that. Then attach wire. Too far? Too far. Too far. Okay. Um, oh. More. That's. No, I don't want the terminal. No, not miscellaneous. Connectors and a power pylon. I think a small one will do this time, won't it? A small one will do. We just need it to get. So, um, space, attach the line to there, attach a line from there to there, and now we have a purifier. My, my, my worry is that's a little vulnerable. We can't easily defend it. Can they shoot this? They probably can shoot it and shoot the power thing. Requires, guard tower requires, produces two defense. Oh! We actually need somebody up here for it to actually provide any defense. Of course we do. I, I was thinking when we, when we get attacked, everyone would rush to the towers. But I'm guessing that's not how it works. However, the important thing now is we're producing even more water. But... D d does that give me the option to... I don't know. Activate. Looks like it's in working order. Looks like it's in working order. Yeah, no, I mean, just d what I'm hoping for is purified water so I can make adhesive. That's my thinking here. Purified water so I get adhesive. And c that power generator can only produce five. It can only produce five. That requires five. All right, fair enough. And then I think it's time to... Can I destroy houses with people in them? Oh, I can't destroy that house. I think now the next thing for me to do is 
make sure I've got the defences sorted. I've gone a bit overkill on the entrance. It looks cool, but it's useless. This is this is not actually providing me much defence. The, the, the turret is. But I think what I want to do is... Oh, yeah. Run around now and completely junk everything so I've got line of sight. I might leave trees, but I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to have to see. What I want to be able to do, I think, can I get out there, is see the territory, the limits to the territory, what I'm going to have to cover, and what I'm going to have to defend. What? Chemistry station! All right, nice. Okay. Bag of fertilizer. Tab. Store. Okay, I can store it. I can store stuff. All right, nice, 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 nice. Let's move the chemistry station somewhere inside. So night has fallen and I've cleared away all of the buildings that can be cleared. I've not junked everything yet. I've still got a bit of cleaning to do. But I've cleared all the buildings. I have noticed a... Something over there. I must check out. And I have gone around the limit of the settlement and made sure that I've removed, junked, anything that's there that I might want to remove. And I've started thinking about how I'm going to have a wall. You see, these things can't be passed through, so I think they're safe. So what I should probably do... I, I don't think anything will be able to get through these windows, so I could probably have a wall... here. Around the sort of this part of the settlement. And then use the house as a wall and the, I don't know what you call them, the bushes as a wall as well. And just keep connecting them that way. For example, just a quick wall there, one wall here. Use these gaps to my advantage. I'll lose a little ground there, but honestly I'm not totally sure that's a big problem. Then a wall from there all the way over to there. The thing is, is I'm not a hundred percent sure what sort of fence to use. You see, the junk fence, if I just pick a standard junk fence, use ten wood and four steel. Uh, that one uses rubber as well. Um, I don't think... Is that how much health it's got? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it sort of the the number one hundred and fourteen, fifty, twenty? Is that how much health the damn thing's got? So the ones with. I don't. The thing is, is this one uses six wood, nine steel, and four rubber, and has twenty six as opposed to that, or does that just mean what it's worth? Anyway, the the big problem is that is quite expensive. Whereas, wire fences just use a tiny bit of wood and steel, in comparison. My guess is, they're not as... Oh, they, that, that can't be the defense value, can it? 172, because, I mean... I think the idea of using wire fences just seems wrong. If I'm going to be setting up a defensive perimeter, I, I think junk fences are the way to go. The other thing you can do is I could use... Um, metal structures, walls, and just use what? That's three wood, ten steel. Or, uh, not metal, wood walls. I can just make wooden walls, shack walls, with even less wood and steel. For all I know, that will actually stop a raider dead in his tracks. Assuming I'm going to get attacked by raiders. So that's the thing. I don't really totally know what the best thing to do is. However, um, I kind of like the idea of the junk fences because they just look more 
well, defensible. Plus, you've also got this junk fence. So what I, I think I really want to start doing is moving these things backwards. These are actually kind of useless at the moment. I don't know. Move them to say... I almost think that signpost should be on the outside. Let's put it there, for example. I almost feel like the signpost should be on the outside so people can see it. And then I'm going to build a wall kind of there. We'll see. Then I want to make that pretty much the same on this side. Now, um, oh. I also, I, I would really like to get the turrets high up. It just strikes me as a sensible thing to do. So, um, gate. I want to put a gate somewhere ahead of here. I don't know, maybe... Well, if I want the sign showing, the gate has to be there. Let's have, let's have a look. Can I open it? I can open it! Yay, we got a gate! He's going to keep opening it, isn't it? You don't want the gate there, do you? You don't want that gate there. And I kind of understand that. I do. I kind of understand that. Maybe I don't need that double sentry post. Maybe I do not need that double sentry post. He's not going to want it there. So how about I put it there? I probably shouldn't. Um, let's close the gate. Probably a little easier to see. <laughs> yeah. Not good. So, I mean, I could get it so that it's almost plush against the bridge. Can they make it across there? Can they, can they make it through there? Because if so, I don't really need huge walls then, do I? How far, far, how far I thought I got I want it as close I could put a small fence here, just a very, very small fence to stop anyone jumping across, I suppose. And then, actually, I don't... Oh, can I put that thing up there? Oh, that would be perfect. Th that would be absolutely perfect, wouldn't it? Okay, okay, okay. Where does it cover? We want it to cover. Oh, we need two of those. We definitely need two of those. Oh, yeah. So, I want it to face a bit more in this direction so that. Let's have a look. It scans the bridge and down there. It will shoot anything that gets here as well, I think. If, if, if something does get through the bridge or... Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't want to do that. If something gets... Here. Gets the brick. We want it to be able to shoot it. Okay, that looks that looks okay. And I can put another one on the other side. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. The question is, is can they can they hop over here? And the answer is probably yes if they're if they're clever enough. So I may want some small fences here, just making sure. Now, apart from wanting a second turret up there. I also need to move these things. Or do it, do it, Ralph. 
I kind of... I kind of want a sentry post more than one of these, to be honest. I, I, I sort of... I mean, I don't think that's actually... Is that any good? Oh, you yeah, know, that's okay. That is that is okay. Oh, it blocks it. It kind of blocks. It does make it possible to get up there. It's, um... Yeah... We kind of we kind of want it to overlook the bridge. Dude. Don't open the bloody doors. Why are you opening the door? Can we build on the other side? I don't think we can. No. We're at the limit there. Okay, so I can't quite get everything fitting perfectly, unfortunately. And I don't think this is actually a good place for this thing to be. So I've decided that I'm going to leave a junk fence there instead. This one. But I, I can't get this placed perfectly either. It's sort of like... I can get it almost... Almost fitting, but not quite. I, I, like, for example, right there. I can get it there. I mean, it's not perfect. I think I can actually get it a bit better than that, maybe. A little more here. But I don't think the raiders can get through. That The important thing is, is that they can't actually get through, I think. Let me just get it a bit tighter there. And, and they can't. They can't make through the gaps, assuming that's how it works. Assuming that's how it works. So they're, they're going to come running over here. There's a great big junk wall here with tyres. For all I know, they can just open the gates. But um, there's no guard post this side, but there is on this side. So we can have a guard here to challenge everyone. And... We'll just have to have some normal fences here. Now, I don't think anything can climb up here, so it might actually be a waste of resources to build a fence here at all. Um, I mean, I'm, I've got a guard post, I've got a turret. Maybe I can put a small guard post, I don't know. Well, from the looks of things, can I jump? Yes, I can. Probably going to be jump jumping. I'm going to need a lot more wood and metal. I will do the rest later. Oh, right, and so, for example, can they get up here? Maybe. So I may, I may put a, a wall across here, another turret there, oh, mate. glad to see the sun come up one more time. You scared me. Uh, oh, here. No, this is, I think, once I junk this, once I actually junk this, they might not be able to. Oh, don't junk that until you've, out of curiosity, if I do junk that. No, I, I just get the, the steel. I want to loot it first. We just want to make sure there's... Right, so they shouldn't be able to climb up here now. No, okay, so I don't need a wall there. I want those stim packs. Thank you very much. And I'll take the ceramic from the toilet. Yes. I will put a fence here. Don't need a gate there. We'll put a wall from here. Well, that's, yeah, that's going to depend, isn't it? I, I don't know how far I want the wall to go. Do I want the wall... See, it's going to be a little easier, use less resources, if I, for now, for example, start the wall here and take it up to yeah maybe maybe well maybe there i think i should start off small because i can move things around i can move things around i think i should start off small and then expand out this is my entrance this is my defense point i'm going to need I'm actually very, very tempted indeed to move the main workshop area 
down here so we can defend it easier so we have a smaller area and then build a wall pretty much at the end of my house for now just completely and utterly leave that part for now oh my god that's where all my crops are it might be worth me doing that I don't know where I'm going to get attacked from. I think the first thing to do, though, is to start building a wall from from here over to this area so I get this part under control because this looks like a good way for them to attack as well. So I've got to decide where I'm going to make the wall. Oh, I'm not I'm not actually in the thing. Oh, okay, that's that's that settles that one then. Right, so realistically, I'm going to need a wall somewhere along from about here. Maybe a fence as well. I think I need a fence just to stop them coming up across the water here. So probably a wall going up and then turning to here. Put that up. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm wondering whether what I should do is build a, build a house here. Nope, let's, let's stick to the plant. Wall to there. Then I'll use this as another wall. And then, right, let's see how much I can get walled in before I start running out of resources. Then I'll start moving the town a little down. Oh, and actually... It may also be worth me just running around and completely scavenging this place to death. What's that? Oh, ammo. If I... Oh, no, I can store. I can store. Item stored in the workshop. Not totally sure I needed to do that. Yeah, okay. Time to get resources. And time to build a wall. <laughs> 